Today is Tuesday. I believe it's the 18th. Anyway, decisions have consequences. If you decide not to go to work, you decide not to receive income based on the job that you have. If you decide not to get a job, you decide to deal with whatever consequences come with not being able to pay your own way. And oftentimes that puts you in compromising situations and frustrating situations, especially when you're an adult. I'm talking to 18 and up. If you didn't do anything with your high school career, I mean with your high school time, you are limited in what you can do after high school. If you dropped out of high school, you don't have a high school diploma. So you limit your ability to do certain things. Now I'm not saying you can't do anything. I mean, UPS was not made by a college graduate. A lot of companies but were made without college graduates, but there was grit, determination, and drive, and enough education to be able to read contracts, business sense, to make good business decisions. So, if you don't come from a family with money and, uh, and have been taught business sense, how can you make great big great business decisions I mean maybe you can study online I mean it's a lot of information out here but at the same time you have to deal with the consequences of your actions by force of choice it's, it's not even force of choice it's just a is if you don't know you can't do anything about what you don't know so I'm saying all that to say be responsible be responsible, male or female, be responsible. Be responsible for your actions. Be responsible for your children. You cannot keep a child in the house and expect them to have social skills, to, to know how to navigate this world. No matter how much you want to protect them, they still have a world outside of the house. And Exposure is important. I'm not saying make sure your kid runs the streets and, and is out there, you know, being a thug or or, or or something less than becoming of a young lady. But I am saying they need to know it enough so that when they're grown and when they go out there, they know how to navigate. They know how to cross the street. They know how to recognize danger. They know how to recognize hey, this type of attire may not be a friendly, or this type of environment may not be friendly based on certain things. And we do have a mind to help us survive, to help us stay alive. So we have to train ourselves to, what, to know what to look for when, and know what energy to feel or, or what energy we're feeling to say that I don't feel comfortable. I need to remove myself from this situation before it gets in a compromising situation where there's nothing I can do about it, but roll with whatever punches come along with it. So we, as parents, as people, have to recognize there are consequences to all the actions that we have, good or bad. You sow good seed. More times than that, you're gonna reap a good harvest. <laughs> you keep meditating on negative stuff. You're gonna attract that. That's your prayer. You're gonna attract that to you. You make a hasty decision in in, in a relationship, a business deal. You lose a lot of times. And everyone is not forgiving as God is. Everyone is not as forgiving as God is, especially with God's restoration of relationship. Jesus died, and one part of the reason Jesus died was for us to be restored, to have relate our relationship with God to be restored, which was broken in the days of Adam and Eve when they uh, 
was sinned in uh, Genesis chapter 3. So beware of the choices that you make. Even the choice not to take a minute to process what you're thinking. To not seek anger management. To seek counseling. To recognize that, hey, even as a parent, this child does not function this way. And if I love my child, it is best for me to learn to parent the child with their unique makeup. I have three children with three different personalities. One of my daughters is as outgoing as they come, but her feelings can get hurt pretty easily. I got a son, tough as nails, quiet as they come, but his actions speak volumes, very loudly. And I have a, a older daughter who is hands-on, get to it, outgoing, not afraid of anything. <laughs> it's like, I, I can figure it out, I can do it. <laughs> I'm just like, whoa. You know, I mean, just three different personalities. So as parents, we have to know how to navigate that and encourage more than we discipline. And yes, we need to discipline our children, but we need to encourage more. We need to, you know, certain things is just like, I said no and I ain't got time to explain it, especially when it's a, a dangerous situation or something that just has immediate. But when, when you, have the opportunity to take time to explain to your children. You need to take that time and explain to your children. Your children need to know that certain things are not right because or not wholesome or not effective or you know let me give you an example. You know my youngest daughter has a shape and I told her like certain stuff you cannot wear. And you wear this thing and you know you're just putting on clothes you're not really thinking about it but you putting on clothes and it's just too tight and it's like you know you're wearing this stuff and it's just you know you can't wear that baby <laughs> i mean no you just you just can't wear it you know I mean, there are child predators out here so i explained to her like look i don't want you out here looking less than a young lady i said i want somebody to to love you because you're a beautiful person and not just because you're physically attractive and I have to, to like really like get her to understand you need to look at yourself before you come out the house if something is too tight you can't wear that so just examples and there are consequences to all our actions Good intentions are the first thing. Second thing is, is it the right thing to do? The difference between good and right is just because it's good, that don't mean it's the right thing to do. So I can do a good thing, which is get somebody some food, which may not be the right thing, which is say, hey, it's not my responsibility to take care of you because you're a full grown adult person. Yeah, I'm changing gears, right? So the right thing may be to, hey, maybe you need to be hungry a little while because you maybe not hungry enough to get on your feet and do what you need to do. Maybe you're too busy panhandling and, and trying to live off somebody else than live off the, the blessed hands that God gave you, like he gave us all. So, man, your relationship with God will definitely help you discern what is good and right with the situations that come you have a lot of different situations in life that you do or don't know what to do or the best thing to do so always pray about the right thing because the consequences of doing something good instead of the right thing you could be given out of your substance versus your abundance and end up in a compromised situation for yourself. Whether it's time, resources, money, whatever. So, 
just think about it. May you prosper and be in good health, even as your soul or your mind prospers. God does not give us a spirit of fear, but of love and a sound mind. I feel like I'm missing something with that. I'll put it in the description. I think it's 3 John 1 and 2. Anyway, y'all have an awesome day. I pray that you get an understanding of consequences for actions and you make good decisions so the consequences no, you make the right decision so you get to reap the harvest from those decisions. Thank you for your time. Have an awesome day.